Hello everyone. I want to make a video talking about these so-called alien coffins that have been found in Saqqara. Actually they were found in the 19th century and they say the, pre the precision is so perfect that these can only have been made by machine tools and I think they're right. These can only have been made by machine tools, by industrial quality tools. Some metal and um, factory machine tool people have said this looks like 20th century technology. So what is going on here? Well, these are all found in the, the Serapium at Saqqara. This seems to be a New Kingdom building. If we look at the bricks here, the structure around these coffins which have nothing in them, by the way, is is not as good as the quality of these coffins. It's a much newer structure. Uh, the writing is really rough. In the New Kingdom, they specialized in carving the writing right into the sandstone. So this was done by sandstone carvers. Look at that. This is just all over the place. And they, they were not used to carving into granite. This is granite, very hard, igneous rock. This was carved maybe a thousand years after these were produced. And it's quite similar to what we see in the Old Kingdom. So that kind of dates those coffins to the Old Kingdom. Again, we see Khufu's chamber, all granite. This is another one of the coffins. It's quite hard to find pictures of these coffins. They just tend to show one or two of them, the most spectacular ones, but there are 25 of them in there. That's another one. Again, the writing is a bit... it's a bit all over the place. It's everywhere. And the point of this video is to prove to you, I'm going to prove to you, that this is this is made by industrial machines possibly with a steam engine and I'll prove that you know you don't have to believe me I'm gonna prove it it's it's done to perfection it's done by people who are obsessed with perfection as they were in the old kingdom another picture this is the most spectacular of the bunch And here's, this is the most, uh, another view of that particular coffin. And again, we see, look, this is so much better than all of this. This is most likely carved. It's not concrete. This could be concrete here. There's a bit of rubble in these, these bricks or rocks. This is apparently New Kingdom. Uh, this must be Old Kingdom. This must be 2,600, something like that. And I'm going to argue this was an industrial age in Egypt. This succeeding age was not industrial. We had a flood which happened in 2300 BC. In Egypt who knows what the effect of this catastrophe took but all the old knowledge left. It disappeared and people just started working with sandstone, building much smaller pyramids out of mud brick alone, surviving on the memories of a much greater previous civilization and they've built this temple around the monuments of this previous civilization. Again, Old Kingdom stuff. Probably New Kingdom writing. There's a map of the Serapium. And it's much the same stuff, this black granite, as the Khafre statue. Done by the same people. Now, I'm going to argue this was all done by tools, industrial tools, possibly driven by steam engines. Here we have a water wheel. At the start of the Industrial Revolution in England, they based their factories off wheels on rivers. And, of course, in Egypt, we, have a lot of, we had a lot of artificial canals going right back to the earliest times. If you consult Herodotus, he talks about canals and artificial waterways built by even the first king of Egypt, King Men. He talks about it. And I'm going to 
I'm going to prove. I'm going to prove everything I say. Granite. Uses. Antiquity. Modern. Um, black granite. Usually grabo. Has completely okay. Uh, let's look up here. Let's look up here. And if we go to industry, granite is a hard stone and requires skill to carve by hand. Until the early 18th century in the Western world, granite could only be carved by hand tools with generally poor results. A key breakthrough was the invention of steam-powered cutting and dressing tools by Alexander MacDonald of Aberdeen, inspired by seeing ancient Egyptian granite carvings. In 1832, the first Polish tombstone of Aberdeen granite to be erected in English cemetery was... etc, etc, etc. 1832. So the technology did not arrive until 1832 to carve granite, to carve polished granite. And the granite... The, uh, the, this is the sort of granite that we see, the polished granite, okay? And that is much the same stuff as we see in ancient Egypt. So 1832 is the key date, and you need certain tools for that. Okay. This is Ptolemy. Ptolemy I, Alexander's general. And he took over Egypt, and he built a library in Alexandria. And what he was essentially doing, he wasn't founding a library with new knowledge. He was, I think he was protecting the ancient knowledge, trying to preserve as much as he could, collecting all the manuscripts, manuscripts which people could even no longer understand, collecting all the information into one place. And I'm going to suggest that this library contained information about steam engines, water-powered engines, everything. This is an, a medieval Arab water wheel pump. It takes the water from here into here, and it just shows how the ancient Egyptians would have done very similar things, and they would have inspired, been inspired by this to create industrial machines in the Old Kingdom, and even before the Old Kingdom, because there were two floods. One in 2300 BC, I think that, that, that could be the biblical one, and another one in 3300 BC. I'll get to that. Again, a water wheel, and this would have inspired industrialization. Okay. And that's, of course, how you do it. And that's pretty much the only way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it. Sure, you can employ slaves to, to, to take their whole lives to build what was built in Egypt. But uh, you, you see, it's all tombstones and stuff, but they would have used this everywhere, all over their civilization. And, and they, they took many generations to perfect the technique. I think it was industrial. Now, this is what Memphis would have looked like. This is... Before Cairo, the Greek term was Heliopolis, City of the Sun. There are the pyramids. And look, there would have been much more than the pyramids. This was a great city. And to build the pyramids to, with all that technology, you need to have a huge library. And the library, the documents were copied generation after generation. The great library of Heliopolis, gone. The New Kingdom libraries which followed, gone. Again, it's, it's perfection. That's Old Kingdom. Now, I want to point out when the catastrophes occurred. I'm putting a lot into this video, but I think it's worth it. Now, this is the amount of thousands of years before present. This is Greenland ice core temperature readings, and they reflect catastrophes which have occurred. And if you look at the time, which would have been 3,000... 300 BC, it would have been here, and that's where history starts, right there. It starts after that, that's the pre-dynastic, and it, all the calendars all around the world, the Mayan, the Egyptian, the Indian, all started in about 3100 BC. There was a catastrophe here, but there would have been possibly an industrial time here, and another industrial time afterwards. Then you have, a, a, I think, the biblical catastrophe somewhere around here, it was 2000... 300 BC, and there was a lot of rain, and they called that the Flood. We don't know what happened there. There was a, a huge Dark Ages. Before that, warm temperatures, there would have been a nice civilization. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is a steam engine, and they say this was invented by Heron of Alexandria, and I'm going to prove to you right now, I don't think he invented this at all. Don't tell anyone. But I don't think he invented this. This is, this is Heron of Alexandria over here. And look at this. 
I'm going to prove to you he got all this from the library. It is almost certain that Hero taught at the museum, that's the name of the library, the university inside the library, which include the famous Library of Alexandria, because most of his writings appear as lecture notes for courses in mathematics, mechanics, physics, pneumatics, although the field was not formalized until the 20th century, it is thought the work of Hero, his automated devices in particular, represents one of the some of the most, the first formal research into cybernetics. Now, his inventions were, of course, his steam engine, which, which sort of spins around like this. It's got steam inside and it, it turns. For him, these all seem to have been toys. Look, the first vending machine. A coin was introduced via a slot into the top of a machine. A set amount of holy water was dispensed. This was included in his list of inventions, etc., etc. A windmill operating an organ. There we go. Wind power. I'm going to argue all of his inventions, he, he possibly tried to commercialize them as toys, but in fact, they all have industrial applications, and he was in the library. He would have read about all of this. Hero also invented many mechanisms for the Greek theater, including an entirely mechanical play, almost 10 minutes in length, powered by a binary-like system of ropes, knots, and simple machines, operated by a rotating cylindrical cogwheel. The Sound of Thunder was produced by mechanically timed dropping of metal balls into a hidden drum. A force pump, widely used in the Roman world. A syringe-like device was described by Hero to control delivery of air or liquid. So, did he just come up with the syringe because it was fun? No. It had a use. It was used in ancient Egyptian Old Kingdom technology and even pre-Old Kingdom before that catastrophe of 3300 BC and it's been it's been proved recently that 7000 year old city they they had iron tools they declined from that time optics the principles of light a standalone fountain that operates under self-contained hydrostatic energy he got all of this i think from the library of alexandria look, look it's all pyramid related he described a method for uh computing the square root of a number today uh his name is most closely associated with Hero's formula for finding the area of a triangle from side lengths. Pyramid stuff. Everything is from the library. This is all ancient technology. Again, here we have the Library of Alexandria. Is it a steam engine? Yeah. He just didn't hook it up to anything because the books that described what to hook this up to were lost in his time. There it is. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.